is up guys it is gz tv here back with another video and in today's video very excited to be listening to mf dooms um operation doomsday i've heard mm food i've heard mad villain villainy with him and mad villain mad lib whatever um uh, i'm really excited to listen to this one because this is a classic i think he dropped in like the late 90s and rest in peace doom by the way we lost him technically in october but we didn't get the news until december Car sorry this camera's a little messed up here um uh we lost him october it was really sad we didn't find out about it until new year's eve of course at the very end of 2021 or 2020 when we were just a about to get to 2021 so it's very tragic and i'm gonna listen to this this is the only my third album i've heard from mf doom so let's get straight into it sorry guys i wasn't really looking at the camera i had my phone the wrong way we have the time we faced doom it's the intro skit let's get into it it's gonna have a lot of samples kind of like mm food like how we had that intro track to set it up This isn't really music at the point, it's just cinematography. But, um, I wanted to get an MF Doom album on vinyl, but they're so expensive right now, by the way. That really, really sucks. Nothing to say about the track itself, but the funny thing is, is we listen to Dr. Destruction, aka Alter Ego to Logic, and I think that's heavily inspired by this album, although I haven't heard this album in its entirety yet. I think that's what he took his inspiration on, so... Let's just move on. Next track is called Doomsday. I think I might have heard a few snippets of this song before on like TikTok and whatnot. The rap talkers go crazy. Uh -huh. This flow is nuts. No way did I just see an ad from Google. Uh, what's it? Nickelbacks. Look at this photograph. There's no way I just saw a Google Photos ad about that. That's totally off topic, but yeah. Chill instrumental, great rapping. I'm just going to get to the next one. Next song is called Rhymes Like Dimes. Let's get into it. I think I might have heard this instrumental hey, yo, yo, y'all can't stand right here. In his right hand was your man's worst nightmare. Loud enough to burst his this right hand. This very chill instrumental is all about the rap, and I like it. The original album cover was kind of cool, but I like the new one. So, so, I give him something to remember like the Alamo. Tally ho, a hot joker like Space Game. Came back from five years late and stayed the same set. Electromagnetic feeling blocks all logic spot. And he shocks a biological clock. When I hit it, slid into the shit, I thought I killed a goose. I don't mind long instrumental outros, but at a point, like, you have to cut them off. Um, I don't like to hate on that type of stuff, because I feel like it's it's nice to sit back and vibe, especially if you're playing on a vinyl record player. But it's just going to get repetitive at a point. It's great instrumentals, but yeah, let's get into the next one. The next one is called The Finest. Let's get into it. The Finest. As the life cycle goes on, goes on, and you learn to hold on, hold on, to things like the mic, the mic. That's still in my tune. Is this an uncredited feature? I'm not sure. I'm not going to cover features if there are any, because they're uncredited. See, that one was straight rapping for almost three and a half minutes. Like, I'm fine with like a half hour instrumental outro. Cool. Let, let the beat ride out a little bit so we can listen to it. Um... I don't know who the feature was. I, I'm sure that was a feature, but they were just bouncing off each other. That was great. Let's get into the next one. The next song is called Back in the Days, and it's a skit, so let's get into it. Days when I met a brilliant young student named Doom. Hello? Anybody home? This is a cinematic piece. Rearrange a few of these circuits. 
Was it like a teacher of Dr. Doom? What are you doing in my room? Or even more. If you From like the POV of like a teacher? I just came teacher? by to say hello. But you better recheck those equations. I think I have heard that voice sampled somewhere before in like Mad Villainy or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. Cool. This is a skit. Let's get into the next song. Next song is called Go With The Flow. Might have a double meaning considered his flow and like going with the flow. So, yeah, let's go. A lot more classic vibes. Eminem Doom is overall a very classic rapper, but like this album is giving me some very classic vibes. Why is the time say 317 on a watch? The, the watch on the cover, the original. That's interesting to like depict that message and why he says that. Again, another extremely long instrumental outro. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm just gonna let me just talk about something else here with the album cover. That little dagger going into the vinyl record. That's some good imagery. I don't know why. I just wanted to put that out there. Let's get to the next track. Next track is called Tick Tick. Bro, I just got that same ad again. It's not funny, Google. You might have a feature on here, it sounds like. Very evil, classic evil villainous. There, this is somebody else. But very, like, classic villainous instrumental. That was an acceptable instrumental outro. I'm probably just going to stop talking about that because I know it will make a few people mad. But yeah, there are a few features on this album and it doesn't show them on YouTube. There was DJ Cucumber Slice. There was like Pebble something. That was MF Grin. There was also Tommy Gun. Just to throw that out there. So let's get into the next track. This track is called Red and Golden. It has King Ghidra on it. Never heard of him. I'm just going off of Apple Music features, by the way, so let's get into it. Very triumphant sounding trumpets to start there. And now it's a slow song. Whoa! The tempo is crazy on this. Not sure if it's intentional, but it, like some of these instrumentals cut off like at the end of the song. Um, I don't know, maybe it was intentional. Maybe it was a mess up in the recording session. I'm not really sure. Not a lot to say about that song, though. Let's get into the next one. Next song is called The Hands of Doom. It is another skit. Let's get into it. Okay. Use this on one of your songs, bro. This beat is groovy. I'll have to go ahead with my experiment right There's now. that one voice. Lower Who is job. that, by the way? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Honestly, that's not a skit. That's a song full of samples. I don't know. I don't think that counts as a skit. It doesn't really... To me, it doesn't, like, progress the story as much. So, let's get into the next song. Next song is called Who You Think I Am. And I think it's pretty much like a cypher. A bunch of the rappers only do them I know about. But there's a bunch of rappers on here. It's kind of a cypher. So, let's just get into it. Who you think I am? Who you want me to be? I had King Ghidra from earlier, a guy named Kong, a guy named X-Ray. When I rock, jock niggas in shell shop. Don't watch the birdie, watch the clock, go tick top, I rip shop. I make your girl as dunce, lyrics precise like forensic science. Leave you a tangle for months, trying to figure who's done it. Your friend got your shit stunted. Didn't have to be that way, some sort of light. This guy sounds familiar, but... But awakeness of those who despise life and worship death. Be a savage, match it out by two for two, breath for breath. In the last days of the countdown, shit is just that drastic. Write journals like... Every rapper did pretty well on that track, but it's really hard to out-rap MF Doom because he has such a presence when he's on a track, and he sounded great on this one. It was no different. That's straight rap. That's what I want out of MF Doom, even if he needs features. That's what I want out of this album. We got it, so let's get to the next one. 
Next song is called Doom Are You Awake. It is another skit, so let's get into it. Doom, are you awake? Yes, but what do you want? I guess this guy kind of oh, tells the story. The I mean, it's just well kind of so. weird. It's not something so you want to listen to in the car because it doesn't have a message. At this point, it's, it's not like a re-listenable thing. It's just a skit to like tell you about like what this album is trying to show or portray with these samples. So, It's a skit. What am I going to say? On a side note, though, Mad Lib is dropping an album tonight, guys. I, I just saw the Raps uh, New Music Friday list. There's going to be some great albums and singles I'm going to react to, so... Look forward to that. Let's get into the next song now. Next song is called Hey, it is just MF Doom, so let's get into it. Very sinister sounding instrumental so far. I'm with you, Doom. Makes sense. Man's a winner. With more rhymes and ways to fill a few lines in these days. Watch the path of the black one. He's going too fast for me to understand the lyrics. I'm gonna have to look on Genius. That was a really nice beat. I liked his rapping too, and uh, the samples were nice. Um, not gonna say a lot. Uh, by the way, someone tomorrow with who dropped these albums is dropping a song with Brent Fias. So let me know. Get, guess in the comments who that is, if you know. Let's get into the next track. Next track is called Operation Greenbacks and it has a rapper named Megalon on it. I think he was on the um, little cipher that was earlier on in the album. So let's have a listen. This beat is really smooth. I like the singing going on at the beginning too. The beats are good vibes, but at the same time, his rapping gives it a very evil effect. I didn't mind. I didn't mind. I, that that could have been a three-minute instrumental outro for all I care. That that instrumental and sampling was great. Both rappers did great. Yeah, I like the singing going on in the background. It, it was awesome. Let's get into the next one. Next song is called The Mic, and it has Pebbles, the invisible girl on it. Interesting. Let's let's listen. Feel the magnetism is, that, is that her? I think this girl was actually featured earlier on in the album. That could have been a different Pebbles, but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, um, Pebbles adds some pretty good background vocals, adds some vibes to the song. MF Doom was singing on this record. There were some interesting drums going on. There was some piano. Pretty good track. I'm not going to hate on it. Let's get into the next one. Next one is a very short skit called The Mystery of Doom. Are we going to solve it? Who knows? Let's listen. There's still Doom. What of him? What of Doom, my dear lady? Kind of like the and drum line that door. came from the last I song. Quite a bit of your story. That's what you call it. That skit was so short that I had to ha I only had one clip to add to it. Okay, it's a skit. Uh, I didn't really understand any of the message going on in it, but let's get into the next song. Next song is called Dead Bent with Just Doom. Let's get into it. This is a decently short track compared to the other ones that he has on here. He has five minute tracks, or one that was really close anyways. Man, it's singing, bro. Screw the rapping. I'm liking it singing right now. Hey, queen. I hold the mic like niggas hold a girl's type, but I ain't at the hook. I be your actor with pearl white, the hook or not. 
hmm, that was like the first one without an intro or outro uh, of any instrumental kind. And he was singing well. The beat was chill. He kind of sounded like Kanye for a second when he was singing. I don't know how I get that, but next track it is. Next track is another solo track called Gas Draws. Let's get into it. Nice too. Metal face again. Operation Doomsday. Yep. Alright. By the way, I real on bad dreams, back up screams, get ripped off like Nicorette. In real life, the real tripe scene might snatch your life like a salt machine. Rifle, that up, set up like bullfight. You blooded how will I cut it white or in full flight? The unemotional, call me antisocial, on the run or cool track um the samples kind of point out like a and gas draws like gas kind of like points out like a marijuana theme i didn't really i'm not really good at understanding concepts of most songs but yeah that's what i got from that so let's get into the next one next track is called question mark and it has curious on it i feel like i've heard of curious before but maybe not let's get into it Servants began to forge what was to become the most dreaded costume on the face of the earth. The last thing to fit was the mask. Would it conform to my twisted features and comfort? I slid the after him last scene, pull a chick like a feed, pull a fast one. Okay. Can't put shit past him. Got niggas on his own team, bad enough to blast him. Retarded in real life on the mic, Rain Man. Stand close to his main man like a chain gang. Yeah. Give a fuck about who. I don't know. I don't want to disrespect Doom, especially because he's dead, but kind of getting a little boring. Like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to say that. Never mind. Take that back good 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 samples i like the sounds of these beats they're very chill next track the next and final track is called hero versus villain it is an epilogue and it has e mace on it not familiar i'm gonna go ahead and listen to this i don't know why but it randomly started recording when i didn't want it to epilogue interesting so this is supposed to be a story um, i've never heard an epilogue on a rap album before any album for that matter so is this just them like telling the story? They don't know That's interesting. I, I like that. I like a summary. I'm gonna go back and analyze this a little more later on, but this is interesting. Wow, did that instrumental stretch for a long time for two minutes and 58 seconds that felt like an eternity but anyways aside from that the good parts about the track i mean the storytelling was interesting it was like a poem kind of like talking while rhyming it wasn't even rapping it was just poetry so yeah what is up guys this is the final thoughts thank you guys whoever made it to the end of the video and i'm gonna say like i love doom i'm not gonna disres i don't want to disrespect him in any way but compared to like um what mm food and mad villainy this is lower tier um i know a lot of people on tiktok hype this up but it is lower tier for me um and there's two more doom albums i think i want to hear is like vaud villain and the other i don't remember the name but anyways um i'm just gonna get the rating out of the way S sound wise it was about an 8.4 but thematically 8.7 i can see where the story comes to a close and kind of wraps together but yeah, it was very old school compared to some of his older, or his other albums, not older. Because this is probably one of his oldest albums, if I'm not mistaken. So, New Music Friday tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share it with your friends. It has been GZTV, and I'm out. Peace.